Hey guys, this is Seb Sanford. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this video was recorded on Super Bowl Sunday and people were glued to their television sets on that day, but we're not here to talk about that. Um, on today's video, I'll be flying with British Airways to Toronto, Canada, but the first Toronto trip for 2024. For my British Airways flight review video, I'll be flying via Club World, aka Business Class, for a second time. If you don't remember from back in my last flight review, back at Christmas time in 2023, it was my first time of flying in that cabin and I had such an amazing time. It was much better than the economy class and the premium economy class, um, World Traveler Plus, as they say in British Airways, but Club World, it's much better than the other two cabins. Well, we're gonna take the late afternoon flight from the UK to Toronto Pearson airport in total three. Uh, this video is going to be quite long, just like my last flight review. It was less than half an hour long. All I have to do now is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight via business class slash club world cabin on British Airways. This is going to be an amazing flight. This, do you think this jacket suits me? I feel like Joel Kinnaman in Silent Night. I, I have to wear this because when I get to Toronto, it's going to be really cold. Uh, our limo should be arriving anytime soon. So yeah, well, the next clip, maybe two, maybe more. And I think we should have a montage of us being on the M4. All right, here we go. Well, the montage. And we're on our way to London Heathrow. Let the journey begin. Controlling it. Best bet to follow it. See where it's going. It's a robotic mop. Something. Let's just get to the security and go to the lounge. Bye bye, robot. And so we have made it to the BA Galleries Club Lounge. We're gonna wait like a couple of hours until our flight um, arrives and starts boarding. And I can't wait to sit in business class again, or should I say club world, as they say in British Airways. And right now, I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the food and drink that we're about to eat in the lounge. Because I can't eat on an empty stomach before going on a flight to Toronto, can I? Yeah, let's see what there is to eat on my plate. Okay, so what have we got today? We have some lettuce leaves here with a little bit of dressing. Is there anything else underneath? Um, no, it's just lettuce and salad dressing. Probably balsamic vinegar. And here is some normal chicken here, along with some veggies, like green beans, and cut up peppers, with some rice. And there's some hummus. And right over here, there's another type of chicken. These are chicken wings, not like the ones from KFC or Leon or McDonald's. And you don't need to eat with your knife and fork. You get to eat these with your fingers. Let's test these out. Chicken wing. I wonder what kind of spice they add to these um, chicken wings. I'm sorry if my hands are a little shaky. It happens to me all the time. Oh man. Very delicious. And a little spicy. And we're definitely not at Nando's or Little Red Lobster or KFC or whatever spicy restaurants there are in the world. I'm giving these like an 8.1 out of 10. And I think I'm gonna eat the rest of my food uh, with a proper knife and fork. Uh, these chicken wings, you just eat with your fingers and then wash them afterwards. That is the last bit on this bone. Let's continue eating. And of course, I, I like um, eating salad and lettuce sleeves. And there's the little hint of balsamic vinegar in there. I'm gonna try a bit of the rice and hummus and beans. If I can get them all on my fork. Mm, yeah, not that bad. And I already know what chicken or turkey tastes like. 
so I'll have one little bite of this to end my meal. This chicken's cold. I'm giving this meal a 9 out of 10 and the chicken wings 8.1 out of 10. This is all very delicious, let me tell you. So, bon appétit. And so a few hours later, we've spent our time in the lounge and now we are about to board our flight to Toronto Pearson. Hey, we're about to go in. It's triple seven. Let's check it out. There's my seat right over there. Let me show you. I'm sleeping in 11K. So let's check the seat out. It's amazing. Pete Doak. Well, here I am in my business class seat, 11K, that's the seat that I'll be flying in. Before we take off, we, we, we have ourselves a starter drink. I'm going for orange juice. I might as well go for a little bit of water um, later on in the flight. I'm guessing that there's some water in here as well. Yes, there is, but I'm saving it for later. Let's have a little sip. Chin chin, and a little bit of cheers to another flight in business class. Cheers. Okay, let's start things up with the Club World TV screen. Tap to start. We have high life on demand entertainment here. And here are the flight details. Um, our estimated arrival time 6.36 p.m. Well, Maybe it's going to be 8.15 p.m. EST, EST Eastern Standard. It says this 6 hours and 57, 6 hours and 57 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's more than that, probably like 8 hours. Anyways, um, it has loads of your favorite content on here, like TV shows from Paramount Plus and a Sky Flyer section. But, but let's get to the entertainment over here and see what movies are on. Huh, here we go. What's new this month? Billy Elliot, the Charlie's Angels movies, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, Get Out, and the very successful Oppenheimer, which is up for an Oscar or two. Oh, The Holdovers is on there as well. Uh, There's the, the basically the same movies from my last flight, and it includes some classics in there as well. So much for High Life Entertainment. Let's have a proper look at the seat. And here is the table right over here. You press the button underneath to release the table. And it's foldable, very foldable. And same thing goes for the other tables in the other two cabins, premium economy and normal economy class. And push the button again to put it back in its position. And you have your own compartment right over here to store all your items at like charging cables and your own set of headphones there's the there's the seat pocket on your right on your bottom right along with its safety card so you can see properly and and you guessed it but this seat it's actually a bed that you could lie down and help you get a good a good night's sleep there's a light over here this is only just for a quick second and in here just like i showed you before there's your amenity kit and that you can't, I think that's how you say it. And look, there's your mirror. And magic mirror on the wall. Who is this handsome fella? Me. And over here is your bottle of water, in case you get thirsty. And there's a sleeping mask in here, so I'll make sure to put that on as soon as I have my one or two hours sleep, I think. Yeah. And what have we got here? We have a Club World menu throughout our whole flight. Let's have a look. Here's the original British menu, and at the bar we have some cocktails, mocktails, spirits, you name it. I don't drink any of those, I'm more of a cranberry juice person. Here's lunch and dinner menus, I'm not gonna list them all, but I'm gonna scroll down from start to finish. And the light meal, again I'll scroll down from top to bottom. I think this is the same menu for when I was on my last flight. And from behind, you got some champagne, sparkling wine, and the rest of your wine choices of any sort. And that's your menu. And this is the tour of my seat. And make sure you store your bag underneath the footrest over there. And there's a pillow, and finally, there's a cushion and blanket underneath. 
Oh, right where I'm pointing, so if you can't see. Yep, this is it. Okay, we're about to take off. And just started raining. The same old English bundle. It's turning out to be a really good flight. Don't forget before takeoff, they're showing us flight safety features. And the full video is on YouTube, link in bio, link in description, whatever.
about this meat dish. I'm giving this one a 8.6 out of 10. video bye thank you guys for watching this video if you like what you've seen give the video a thumbs up and subscribe today and turn on the notifications to be notified on new videos and i hope to see you on the next video bye